June 17th, 2022. I just spent the last three days at, at Mom and Dad's, just helping out there with them. And back home, and just thought I'd do a quick update on my plants, my garden. fennel I planted. I see little tiny ones coming up, but they're barely, they can't hardly see them, but once they take that off, they'll probably do well. My barrel plants. I got some shriveling, but they might have been damaged leaves, because I don't see any bugs on them, because I've checked. Although it is getting that time where we could um, end up with squash bugs. I've been watching that pretty closely because I will put netting up if I need to. One thing I noticed is I haven't seen many bees and that kind of bothers me because you need the pollinators. And I have big giant flowers on some of my stuff in the garden, my uh, squash, and there was not any bees buzzing around. And maybe it's just because it's later in the day Here's all my leftover plants. Poor things, and then the ones I have put in pots. But I'm not gonna go in there today because I'm trying to wind down the greenhouse except for what's gonna live in there for the summer. We put the shade cloth up the other day before it got up into the 90s. Some of my zinnias are starting to show their pretty faces. So that's exciting. They're starting to bloom. Rainbows of color. Look how pretty that one is. So I'm excited to that. That guy's kind of laying down. There's a few of them that are kind of laying down because they got so leggy when they were in the pot still. Andrew turned the water on to water those four beds up there last night and he forgot so it ran all night long so he said the potatoes over here got watered too because it was all running down this area is all watered <laughs> so i checked this part of the garden and it all seems pretty good right now so i'm gonna wait till tonight to turn any water on and then i bought some timers to put on them the cabbages have grown a ton since we put them in here I've noticed they've grown a whole bunch in this one. And for some reason, they're a little bit slower over here. They haven't done much. So I don't know if maybe I need to water this bed a little more. Maybe something to do with the onions. Um, I read that onions were good companion plants. So I don't know what's going on there. Looks like we do need water over here because the the flowers on the corners are suffering a little bit, and we did add more strawberries. So maybe I'll turn that hose on first, which also waters all of this. Oh, the cabbage moth. Nasty bugs. <laughs> I used to think those white moths were so cute, and now that I know what they do to cabbages, I don't like them. Not at all. But these guys are all doing really, really well. They've, um... Got new growth on them. They've, you know, as you can see, have flowers. I'll look inside this flower and see if I see anything. Nope, no buggies. A lot of times if you get like the, Andrew calls them Hawkeye bugs. They're the yellow, um, kind of look like a ladybug. Yellow with black spots. I think they're a cucumber beetle. But they'll get right in there and just devour the plant. This is cantaloupe. And see all the pretty flowers and like I said maybe I'm not seeing any bees buzzing around right now because they're they're out more earlier in the morning I know they're in out full force at that point so I might have just missed them because I didn't come up until close to noon so these are squash winter squash and I did find a squash bug on here yesterday but we looked and we didn't see any eggs 
we only saw one squash bug. So I'm hoping it's one that just flew in and we just happened to catch him when he came in. We've got marigolds planted along here. See, mama bird's really mad at me right now. I know, you don't want me in my garden because you've got babies in there. Oh, this needs watered. Um, those are nasturtiums and they're also good bug deterrents. And they're also edible and you can eat the flowers and they're kind of spicy. And they're really pretty. The flowers are really, really pretty. They look really dry though, so I think I'm gonna have to give them a drink of water before I leave the garden. There's one. Them hanging up there, they get the wind and then they also the heat. Look at these guys here. Like, if you stretched out, I'm sure it'd be four feet tall. These are cucumbers. They are just doing amazing. <laughs> I just um, was kind of directing them up yesterday last night when I got home and um, they were kind of laying all over the place but it's crazy how much they've grown since we put them in here but a little over a week ago all the radishes are doing really good I probably should thin them out a little bit oh gnats are buzzing my face and then the tomatoes these guys are the ones that got watered a whole bunch of my <laughs> These guys right here might be all like four times the size of everything else because they got watered so much. So I'm thinking this evening I'm probably going to come up and put the strings up down to the tomatoes. Um, I trimmed off the bottom leaves last night because about the bottom two feet as they grow I'm going to keep completely bare. And then um, I also... All the suckers that were coming in and the armpits, I've, I pulled all those off last night too. There was quite a few of them. And this is my potato slash weed bed with a mixture of uh, alyssum and uh, carnations in there too. And um, a lot of uh, grass and stuff is trying to come up in there now too. So I might need to also put some straw down. I was thinking I wanted the alyssum to kind of be a ground cover, but I'm thinking the weeds might outgrow them. I know, mama bird. This cabbage is getting really big. It's going to start forming a head any time now. And it's growing right next to mint, so I'm hoping that that keeps the, the bugs away because a lot of bugs don't like the mints. Oh, the gnats are terrible. My beans are getting huge already. I'd say some of them are probably even like eight to ten inches tall. They're just they're getting really big. I saw some corn sprouting up on the other side, and I planted that just as uh, as um, what do you call it? Companion planting. Our peas. It looks like we did lose a few to probably birds because some of them were when they were popping out of the ground when they were sprouting because they swell up a lot. Um, I was poking them back in, but I think, I think the birdies probably got some of them because I don't see anything in here and they're very noticeable. So they were probably a meal for something. That's a volunteer, uh, kale plant that's gone to seed, which is fine. It's another, see, there's no bees though. Like, why don't I see any bees? I'm puzzled because usually I have bees hovering around my garden all over the place. I'm going to have to do some praying and hope they come because like I said they're the pollinators for like the cucumbers and the squash, well for everything so anything that has a flower. So let's hope that some bees show up. All the chemicals in the world nowadays, it's slowly killing all that off, which is really, really sad. And in the process, trying to kill off humanity. Anyway, that's it for today.
everything's looking really healthy and happy right now, which is wonderful. And I just thank God for this opportunity to be able to do this. And our raspberry bush is over there, loaded. And they go almost all the way around um, the backside. And I started with one bush, I think three years ago, and it looked like it was dying. We didn't think it was gonna make it. And now we have red raspberries all the way around. So that's exciting. Brielle absolutely loves raspberries. And she spent a lot of time last summer up there eating red raspberries right off the bush. Oh, the gnats are terrible. They just have right in my face right now. Oh, icky, icky. I'm gonna show you my green stalks real quick. And then I'll end the video because, you know, I can't do a video that's less than 10 minutes long. I don't, I don't think the citronella is going to make it. It doesn't look very good. But these are, this is my green stock. And this one is all green beans. And look at that. Got a whole bunch of little bean plants. Really excited about this one. I've never um, grown beans in a pot or a know a container before so really really excited about this guy and I just turned him so this side's in the sun today so I'm gonna do that every day and let him take turns one side to the other and you can see they're all pushing up they're all in there they're coming up Don't worry. see push that back you can see them and then all my Herbs are doing really, really well. And then the cabbage I put in here seemed to be really happy. They were not very happy when I bought them. In fact, they're doing better than the ones up in my onion garden. So I might even just pull those ones up in the onion garden, bring them down here and poke them in here and let them join these cabbage since these guys are doing so well. Um, I had one, the dark opal basil was broke and it broke off deep at the stem. So that one's gone. Yeah, that's what everything looks like as of today. Today's Friday, and we'll be heading back up to my parents tomorrow, and probably back on Sunday, and then I'll be up, back up there again sometime next week. Um, and in the meantime, I have a wonderful husband that helps take care of all this stuff for me, and kind of hoping to get in the pool today, and the temperature on the pool right now is amazing. 93 degrees. 93 degrees. Got bugs landing on that. Get out of black cylinder. The water feels amazing. So I might have to go and take a splash. Until next time, I bless you.